Dallas hosts New England for an interconference MLS matchup on Saturday. Here now on the line is sports writer Kevin Stott. He has written an article about the match. It is posted on sportsallwb.com and in the link in the description below this video. Do check it out. But right now, let's preview the match. Uh, New England come from a string of losses, uh, whilst Dallas have only lost one match in five. Are we looking at a straight home win, or could New England prove a challenge here? New England's tough enough that they should be able to put up a challenge in Dallas. Dallas hasn't uh, been able to play a lot of home games, it seems, in the last couple of months, so it might seem foreign to them that they're at home, but uh, they are a good uh, team at home, and uh, the, the home edge in soccer is just huge. If you don't know about uh, a, a team and you want to lean and have to make a bet, it's better to lean towards the home team in soccer on almost all levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they've got the shortest odds here to the win. Uh, Dallas, uh, 2, William Hill, draw 3.6, bet 365, New England, 4, Coral. I was considering taking half-time, full-time Dallas, 3.3, bet Victor. As you said, they haven't played a game at home for a while. I think they're going to be in front of their fans. I think we could see them at least getting an early goal in and holding that out to the end, possibly two goals. Uh, what are your thoughts here? I think that's kind of risky. I, uh, I just, I'm not so sure that Dallas is, is that... Uh, uh, prolific scoring, um, especially at home. Mm -hmm. You know, and New England has had, had the, the historic edge goes to New England here. I know it's just the uh, historical trends don't mean a lot to some people, but New England's 22 5 and 13 lifetime overall against Dallas. Dallas played great in the beginning of the season, and then they sort of petered out, and now they're trying to get it back. So whether or not they're in full groove, I'm not sure. This is an important game for, for, for FC Dallas. Yeah. So yeah, they will be on their best behavior, Natalie, but in terms of them getting a goal in the first 45 minutes, I just. Uh, and betting on it. Yeah, I could see it happening, but in terms of betting on it, I'm just not that confident in, uh, in, in thinking when they're going to. I'm sure that they'll. I'm not sure. I'm hoping they'll get a goal in this game, but I'm just not sure when it will occur. Okay. Well, interestingly, both teams to score is a lot lower than no. Uh, yes is 1.75, no is 2.1, William Hill there. Uh, are you with or against the bookies on that one? No, I'm going to lay off that uh, particular market because uh, just I, I just think that there's going to be so few shots on goal because of, of the situation. New England's traveling to the, the, the southwest uh, Texas. Um, they're going to lose a couple hours. They are in second place, 11 points behind the first place team. So even if they win, even if they upset Dallas, the most they can gain is three points. So, so basically, they don't think that they can win the East. So what they want to do here is just make sure they make the playoffs. They're going to make the playoffs. They're in second place. So what they want to do here is, is just, just see if they can be the team to score first and maybe steal three points. I think this is the type of game that's conducive for a draw, to be honest with you, just because of New England not being that bad and Dallas being decent but not that great. Mm -hmm. And for our viewers, say, who are watching this and uh, want to be pointed in the right direction for the right bet, what would you say? I think uh, the, 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 this, is a, this is a match that's uh, probably, honestly, quite honestly, best to just stay away from. This is a tough one to make money on. Mm -hmm. This could go over. This could go under. Uh, and either team could win. You're going to give the lean to the home team, Dallas. Or if I was going to make uh, two bets on this, I'd uh, take FC Dallas on the draw, no bet. It's minus 200, or it was at uh, Bet Victor when I wrote this. And I'd lean, the, the thing I like the most is the under, um, minus a uh, dollar two. But, but this could leak over. This could have three goals in it. Uh, this is a game that, that it's more important to Dallas, really, than it is to New England. Because Dallas needs to get their confidence back. They need to prove they can win at home. They need to uh, establish some kind of home dominance. Whether or not they have the roster to do so this year, I, I'm, I'm real leery about that. So I think that this is the type of game that... Uh, it probably is just really tight, low scoring, ends up in a draw, and the under might be the best bet. But me personally, I'm not going to bet on this particular game. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Kevin Stott, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Natalie.